Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, Liz Rod787 here to talk to you about uh, some issues I'm having with my bike stands. Uh, so I'm trying to put away my bike for winter and uh, let me let me move out of the sun. Having issues with the bike stands. Bike stands won't fit. Um, those are the Venom. Uh, I used to use them for my 2006 Suzuki GSX-R600, but they won't fit the 2022 Suzuki GSX-R 1000R. According to JP, uh, the spools are too wide for that, and I try. We try to move the brackets uh, different ways, and they just don't fit. Um, the front one is fine, but then the rear one is really, really narrow for the bike. Uh, the brackets, let me show you here. So the brackets were on the inside and they didn't fit. Apparently the bike is too wide. And we try swapping uh, this uh, so it's on the inside, on the outside. As you can see right now, one is in the inside and one is on the outside and they still don't fit so we tried everything we try one on the inside one on the outside both on the outside both on the inside and nothing works if you know a bike stand that will work i i believe the pit bulls uh do, do work for my bike but i don't know i'm not a hundred percent sure if you have some recommendations you can see um I'm gonna show you the Hayabusa they fit with the Venom so if you have a Hayabusa and you are planning on buying uh, the Venom uh, bike stands to save money they fit uh, as you can see they are already on the Venom uh, bike stands but then they won't fit my bike if you can see the spools are more towards the outside it's, uh, those are wider which is a shame because I have these ones on my older bike and I cannot even use it. Uh, let's see, we try to put them on. Let's see what's going on here. So one side is gonna fit and then when you try to put the other side, it is too much towards the outside of the spools. And if, if he reverts uh, brackets, what happens is uh, one is going to be fine, the other one is going to be too too close to the inside of the spool. So this sucks. Having bike stands that I cannot even use. I might sell this then to see if I can get some money from it. Because they are in pretty good condition. Uh, I hate the idea that I will have to spend a lot of money on uh, the ones that fit so if you have any suggestion on which bike stand I should buy just leave me comments below and I will take a look into it because uh, I have to buy them fast uh, all these nights has been really cold and, and the concrete, con co co concrete and they're gonna mess up my, my tires so I'm gonna move back my bike just a tiny bit so that's what I'm gonna do now I'm gonna move the bike and push it back so I don't mess up the tires until I get the new bike stands. So leave me comments below of which bike stand I should buy for my 2022 Suzuki GSXR 1000R and I will look into it. Uh, I cannot wait long because cold weather is here already. Sweet! Oh my god, I miss riding it so bad but it's so cold like you can see my top um, it's winter now look at the trees say it's like 40 degrees but it's winter time already so I'm sticking to skiing right now I'm not riding my bike uh, during the cold weather so yeah I have a mess right here um, my pipe broke my water pipe and uh, we have to put all this uh, crap so it keeps it insulated because last year my pipe uh, got frozen and I didn't have water like for two months 
and that sucks because I don't have any other place to go. What's going on with that? All the mess. Uh, I have like a, a sandbag to keep everything in place. I have like a, a I don't know, a insulation stuff, I guess. And then on top, I put like uh, these uh, organizing boxes to keep the pipe from freezing. Going back to the bike. This what's up. Ah, uh, so that's what's going on, guys. Um, if you have any suggestion of which um, stands are gonna fit the bike, so I can lift it, lift it for winter, let me know in the comments below, and uh, I will. I might consider anything at this point. I don't know what to buy. I don't know what fits. I guess I will have to Google it or search YouTube for the right uh, stands. This is a shame. It's a shame that I have bike stands that I cannot even use. Yup. Those are pretty darn wide. Uh, I wonder if uh, we can mount spools somewhere else where it's gonna be narrower. I don't see any other place, so I guess I, I will have to um, stick to, uh, I mean, buying the uh, new stand. Uh, well, Hayabusa is fine. Hayabusa, they fit. It's so crazy that I thought that the Hayabusa is much wider. Um, than, than my bike but I guess it's not I guess it's narrower so no use for those bike stands so I will end up selling them now on the front section they do fit uh, this the sweet Hayabusa I have to show you guys, uh, something guys my bike was getting service, uh, it was the first service. I had to ride with JP uh, on the back as a passenger. When we were coming back to pick up my bike, uh, something flew from underneath a pickup truck. I don't know what it was. JP thinks it's a piece of plastic, a huge plastic that flew uh, in the air and it ended up hitting the bike. So you can see the scratch right there. Another scratch right there. I don't know if you can see it on the video, uh, on the headlight and then on the side. It's pretty scratch up. And you can also see scratches right there and right there. And he was so upset, he loves his bike, I mean, who doesn't love their bikes? And uh, he said, I'm gonna sell it, I'm gonna sell it. And I told him, this was the bike of your dreams. He said, 2002 Suzuki GSXR 1300 Hayabusa. He was uh, trying to get this bike for so long. I'm talking about over 20 years or maybe, yeah, like 20 years. And I know if he gets rid of it, he will regret it. He rather be better, you know, this bike is paid off. It's an old bike. He better go with, uh, you know, buying a new bike um, and not to get rid of this one. I don't know what he's gonna do. He said if he buys a new bike, he's gonna uh, sell the Hayabusa. I'm pretty sure he's gonna regret it. So I have to get it ready for winter. And I can't, and that upset me really much. And guys, thank you for the comments uh, on the other videos. Uh, I received a comment that I should lower my bike. I mean, um, I'm thinking about it still. I think I, sh I will do it uh, in the future. I'm not sure yet. I'm still getting used to the bike. I mean, I already got used to it. I'm on my tippy toes but uh, I can fluff with one foot uh, and the other one I just leave it on the pegs. Um, still deciding I might do it. I mean, 
like I said I can flat foot I mean go on top of it so I can show you what I mean so when it's on the side when I'm on a stoplight I can flat foot just fine and guys forget about my uh, socks these are the Christmas socks for winter it's really cold right now and the other one I just leave it on the pegs yeah I'm all muddy and that kind of girl so see I can flat foot fine and I can uh, hold my bike with my tie um, so I, it doesn't bother me the only thing that bothers me is that I cannot wear many type of shoes I mean riding shoes because they are so uh, they're not uh, high enough for me to reach I mean I reach with these uh, uh, slides so that means that I can I don't know put some racing boots and reach with one foot only and the other one on the foot peg because the other one is gonna be look I'm like a foot uh, my my heel is like a foot high from the floor uh, something like that so I just keep it on the foot peg and I just keep pressing the brakes here if there is a incline on the road and I just leave the other one like this well guys so if you have some suggestions of which type of uh, bike stands to buy leave the comments uh, below and I will look into those uh, that you post on the comments uh, don't forget to like and subscribe my channel for more videos I'm trying to grow my channel and I will see you on the next one take care guys have a good day